All right, lesson two, I want to get you back to your scale stuff. Hey, man, I love to play the guitar. I'm sure you probably do and or will love it as much as I do when you really get it going on. So I'm going to keep on showing you stuff. I'm going to keep on showing you exercises and things that will help you become a better lead guitar player, at least down the road. All right? Here's an essential exercise. This is the key to being able to fly up and down the fretboard. Okay? When a guitar player... When a guitar player just moves up the fretboard and it doesn't even seem like they're thinking about it, they're not even thinking about what pattern they're in, this exercise is going to help you get to that point. Okay? I don't see a lot of teachers teach this. I call this one locking the puzzle pieces. All right? And the reason I call it that is because if you take a look, I'm going to start out with my main pentatonic pattern at the fifth fret, just like I often do. Okay? And the next pattern up the neck, the second pattern, which you just learned, notice that they share all these notes right here in the seventh and eighth fret region. Okay? And so, see, they share those two notes. They share this note, this note, this note, and this note. These two patterns lock together like a puzzle piece. And once you learn how to lock them together and keep them locked together, then when you change keys to another key, if I take my main pentatonic pattern down three frets and play an F sharp, I know that my second pattern, my BB's box pattern, is right there. I've got them locked together. Wherever I move that main pattern, the other one goes with it just automatically. I don't even have to think about it. And it's because I did lots and lots of rounds of this exercise right here, the puzzle locking exercise. Let's do this. Let's take just the top two strings, or the low two strings, of our main pattern, just those four notes. Okay? And then we're going to take the top four notes of the second pattern. Okay? Now we're going to start at the main pattern, play the first four notes. Then I'm going to slide my hand up into position for the second pattern and come back down the scale. Okay? You want to get to where you're that fluent with it. The point of this is so that you learn not to do this. Wrong note. Wrong fret, wrong position. You want to lock these two patterns together by practicing flowing back and forth between them. All right? Now notice this too. I put my fingers down. I'm going to need my pinky at the 10th fret. And so I just go ahead and put it down on that next fret and slide it. But I do it so quick you don't even hear that note. You just hear the, the 10th fret. All right? That's the idea here. We do it on the next two strings. How about the next two strings? Okay. How about if we start back at the beginning but we do three strings at a time? kinds of ways you can do this. You want to try to, to do it just all through the pattern. Do it with each pair of strings. Do it with each set of three strings. Try it all different ways. Try going back and forth, back and forth. Try starting in the second pattern and going backwards to the first pattern. All these things will help you get to where your hand just knows where to go when you're playing like that, okay? Locking the puzzle pieces. It's a fun exercise, really. You kind of get into the groove of it. It's kind of cool. Have fun.